welcome to Texas Holland Channel. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, definitely click that subscribe button and turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload. So in this video, if God is willing, I'm going to be taking this GT35 Turbo off and upgrading it with the newest GT35 Turbo that Max Peating Rods has. It is a more upgraded design. It handles a higher heat. It spools up a little bit quicker. Um, so that is what I'm going to be replacing it with. So this one here is doing okay, uh, but I want to test out that new one to see how much better it is. Now the price is a little bit steeper because of that, but it's supposed to be a better turbo, so we will find out for sure. Um, as you guys know, I'm honest, if I don't see that it's made much of a difference, I won't tell you guys that, but if it does seem to be a little bit better, I will definitely let you know. So, uh, the new GT35 Turbo, the upgraded design, should be here today. At least the tracking says it will be, so we will see. Um, regardless, the engine is cooled down right now, so I can take the turbo off without burning myself. Um, so this is the best time for me to take it off. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so if you're not familiar with this K20 swap setup that I have on my Mazda truck, I'm going to go ahead and explain it real quick. We've got this coolant line here that runs out of the turbo, so this is really hot coolant. It'll run into the heater core, out of the heater core, back into the block, which that line runs all the way under the intake manifold. Um, we've got the inlet to the turbo coolant on this side, which runs out of the cylinder head and up through the line through the turbo. We also have the oil feed, which runs from right above the oil filter. I've got a T-piece right there. The oil feed line runs up, around, and into the turbo. And then we've got a 10 AN fitting on the bottom. Uh, it's the larger diameter bolt pattern uh, for the oil return. And that just comes right off. So basically just undo those lines, pull the coupler off, pull the intake pipe off. Then I'll pull the, probably pull this first, just the uh, turbo blanket. And then we've got four 12 millimeter bolts all the way around. And then four 14 millimeter bolts that hold it to the manifold adapter flange. So I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to go ahead and time elapse this uh, for viewing pleasure, but I'm going to go ahead and get to it. We, we, we chose, chose. Okay, got the old GT35 turbo off, and as you can see on the 45 degree flange adapter for the log manifold, got a little exhaust leaking going on here. It's a good thing I'm getting new gaskets with this new turbo. It's also leaking on the side here. One thing to make sure to do is go through and retighten your bolts or use some lock washers because that helps tremendously. Like I have lock washers on these and they're not loose. So just keep that in mind. It can cause spool issues. Um, a lot of malfunctions that most people have with turbo is from user error, not always max peating rods turbos that are bad. Um, let me show you an example real quick. For example, with this GT35 turbo, it's in great shape. Uh, everything's working good. There's no shaft play. Um, a thing to make, make a note of, though, is that every turbo has a small amount of acceptable shaft play. Uh, you can actually Google that yourself, look it all up, whatever. Um, as for the turbo itself, you don't have to run these side coolant lines here on the sides, um, but it does help prolong the life of turbo. So again, that's preventative turbo maintenance if you run those coolant lines, but again, it's not necessary to make power, uh, but it does help tremendously. This oil feed adapter, I'm going to leave a link in the description for this particular one um, because it is for journal bearing turbos. You can buy these with 
ball bearing turbo adapter restrictor sizes and you don't want that because it'll starve the seals for oil. So then you'll be contacting Max Peating Rod saying their turbos are junk when it's actually a user malfunction problem. Um, because ball bearings require less oil so they need a smaller restrictor. Journal bearings can use more oil because they're journal bearings, they need to stay cool. Um, but this one right here has never given me an issue, so I'm leaving the link for that in the description. Also on the oil return for the GT35 Turbo that I have here and the new one coming, it is a larger oil return. It's not the uh, smaller bolt pattern, it's the larger one. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna show you this right here. That is the uh, exhaust gasket. And you can see it was starting to leak on the side particularly right here. It uh, wasn't too bad, but if I'd have tightened the bolts back down, that probably would have went away. But uh, the new turbo will be coming soon, so just got to do some waiting. Probably going to listen to some K-Love. In some previous videos, people actually asked what kind of music I like to listen to while working on the vehicle. Um, I listen to K-Love. It's positive, encouraging music, and it's uh, just really good for the soul. So that's what I listen to if anyone was wondering. Unfortunately, you can never hear it because I'd get copyright strikes, which would be no good. I've worked from 2009 to current to build this entire channel, my other channel first, and then build this channel, one that I can do specifically Honda stuff, the other one's paint. Uh, so if anyone needed a little bit of questions answered, there's a few questions I answered. But I'm going to go ahead and listen to some more K-Love while waiting for the new turbo to get here. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Okay, we've got the Max Peating Rods Turbo is here. It actually came a day later than I was expecting. Um, they had a delay with FedEx, but uh, that's always why I say if God is willing, because I am not in charge of all of this. God's in charge of it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it, and uh, we'll see what this turbo looks like compared to the other one. Now, I will compare this turbo side by side to the other GT35 Turbo. Oh, nice. Yeah, they've definitely st stepped their game up for sure. That's a cool Max Peating Rods uh, sticker. Definitely going to use this one. It's actually like a chrome, um, kind of like a factory car badge. I like that. Thanks, Max Peating Rods. I really like that. Um, we're going to compare this one side by side, though, for sure. You see, um, definitely neatly packaged. Got brand new gaskets. They're not all bent up, so that's very good. You can take all the packaging out. Oh, that's cool. This one even has a Max Peating Rods over the intake. That is awesome. They've definitely changed things up since I've gotten a turbo last. So, uh, definitely awesome. We'll go ahead and take this out of the box. It's definitely nice and sealed up so no dirt or debris can get in there. So, go ahead and open this. Now, this turbo, when you just look at it, looks the exact same as the other one but as you can see on this one it's got a gold impeller on it looks really really nice really cool and the turbo casing itself says max peating rods so that is absolutely awesome uh, this is going to look really good in the engine bay for sure um, besides that it looks pretty much the same as the other one so upon first comparison, you're just going to probably think it's a marketing ploy to make more money, um, but they are different turbos. So this one here, as you can see, the impellers are different on the compressor side. Um, the casing looks pretty much the same. They're both four inch inlets. Um, both of them have the same exact diameters. It is a 57 trim turbo. Both of them support 600 horsepower, but there are differences. So. Um, I'm going to start with this one here. It is made of a ductile iron QT450. It is 700 degrees Celsius um, iron on the actual part where it spools up from the exhaust gases. So the iron part is 1292 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's still pretty hot. While this one here is 850 degrees Celsius which is 1,562 degrees Fahrenheit. It is definitely a higher uh, heat rating, so it helps uh, with the prolonging of the life of the turbo. Now this one here is a K418 alloy, capable of 900 degrees Celsius, which is 1,652 Fahrenheit. Um, but over here is a K419 alloy, 1,000 degrees Celsius, and 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, 
They both are done with VSR balancing. Um, this turbo here, as of today's date, uh, it is $173. Now, today is November 22nd, 2021. So the price may change uh, depending on when you're watching this video. Now, this one is $173 right now. It is actually made of a silicone molybdenum. I can barely even say that word. It is a higher strength um, steel or iron. So that is why there is an upcharge because the materials are different. Uh, this one is laser cut with a five axis milling machine. I'm not sure on this one, it doesn't say. Um, but this turbo has been great to me. So if this one is as good as I think it will be, it should be pretty good on power. Uh, it's supposed to spool up just a little bit faster than this uh, previous model. So I am super excited to put this on and I'm going to leave all the information I found this in the description. Go ahead, click those links, compare them yourself, check out everything. You can use that code on screen to get a discount and save yourself some money. It does help knock a bit of the price off. Uh, and I try to do everything I can to help you guys on money. I'm on a budget myself, so I totally get it. But I'm going to go ahead, slap this one on with the new gaskets and all of the hardware, such as my oil uh, inlets and my coolant inlets. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all that put on, get it on the truck. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Stay tuned so I can do a pool video for you. Okay, it's all installed, looks pretty good. I went ahead and double checked every bolt just to verify everything's nice and tight. Now we're gonna basically break the turbo in. Now, I like to do this because it lasts longer when you do it this way. So I'm gonna disconnect the fuel injector connectors. Uh, it might fire up for a second because of leftover fuel in the cylinders, but I want it to basically crank over so we can build some oil pressure up and get it all circulated before actually starting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then I'll plug the connectors in. We'll start it up and see how everything goes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now.
everything's looking good. Don't see any oil leaks or coolant leaks. I double checked all of the gaskets and tightened everything down um, two times just to be sure. Spinning it idle. I want to go ahead and shut it off and uh, see how long it takes for the turbine to stop spinning. Most journal bearing turbos don't spin for very long. I actually haven't seen one spin this long. Wow, that's doing really good. Wow, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead, put some heat in it, get it started up, get, get it warmed up, and uh, we'll take it out for a spin. So, hope you guys are enjoying the video. Okay, so if you haven't been able to tell by my excitement, the Kazda is doing awesome. If anyone was wondering, it's K-Swap Mazda, so I figured I'd call it the Kazda. The GT35 upgraded turbo from Max Peating Rods. Highly recommend this one if you have not bought one uh, and you can afford this one, definitely get this one. It does spool a bit quicker, but if you can't, this is a better substitution uh, for a lower price turbo. $170, $173 I believe. And this one over here is 270, but this one does spool quicker. And for a journal bearing turbo, that thing spins quite a while. Um, I will be keeping this one. I wanted to do a giveaway, but it is a used turbo. If I want to give away a turbo, I want a good one to go out there. Um, not one that I've already been abusing on. So stay tuned. I'm going to try my hardest to get a GT35 turbo to give away. Whether it's this style or that style, a free turbo is a free turbo. That's how I look at it, at least. Um, Max Peating Rods has really up their game over the years. I'm not just saying that because they supplied me some parts for the vehicle. Uh, they have been around since 2016, I believe, because I've been buying parts from them for a while. And their customer service used to be eh, dodgy at best, but now it is a lot better. Um, if you had problems with them in the past, I highly recommend giving them another shot. I know a lot of people don't trust so easily, um, but I give everyone the benefit of the doubt at least once. And they have definitely come through. Their customer service has changed a lot. They're actively taking advice. Speaking of which, I told them they needed to come up with a better sticker because I've made better stickers on my Cricut machine. And they came up with this awesome Max Peating Rod sticker. I put it right here. Uh, it's a really good spot. You can see it. I still have to paint some of the bay and stuff. I still got to put a coat of uh, green Raptor line all the way around this whole thing. Um, but this is basically the green base coat for that. But that's all coming in the future, if God is willing. Um, but yeah, 
definitely making some progress with this we still have more coming i have to figure some stuff out it made 287 horsepower on that previous turbo but now the boost is coming in sooner so it probably shifted that power band up just a hair um, but i want to keep it right around 300 because it is a stock k20 a3 eventually again if god is willing i want to upgrade some of these internals get a big cam because it is 100 percent bone stock econo engine in here right now so um, i definitely have more plans still for sure i'm trying to get content out maybe get some reaction videos of giving people rides or something would be pretty cool but um yeah, definitely uh, comment below what you think and uh, stay tuned for more. Greatly appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end without skipping. You are awesome. But we'll go ahead and get off here. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.